what we're going to be doing um, is uh, using the basis of this webinar to um, to uh, provide recordings of little help guides, little help snippets uh, for you to refer back to online. So over the course of today's webinar, I'm going to run through about four or five different things that you can do within your Infusionsoft application. I'm going to give you a worked example um, of how you might do that. Um, and I'm going to we're recording the session, so I'm going to break that into chunks um, that you can then follow in a step-by-step -step fashion if you want to after the webinar. Feel free to play along um, as, as I go through. There might be a bit too much that I cover in this call for you to be able to do it actively in your own applications, um, but let's, let's give it a go. So as I say, my background's in lead generation. I run a business called IT for Small Businesses. Um, and the intent of that is helping uh, small businesses make more using the technology of marketing automation in their business. My background is uh, I've, I've come from, I've been working with Infusionsoft now in my own business for about 15 to 18 months, there or thereabouts. I was so enthused with it that I became an Infusionsoft certified consultant earlier this year. Um, and I really enjoy helping small businesses to make more from the leads that they generate online. The scenario that uh, I've got for you today is around using Twitter as a lead generation mechanism and bringing Twitter interest into your Infusionsoft world. Um, so without further ado, um, I'd like to uh, step through how you might do that. I'm going to go to my profile here on Twitter. Um, here I am, not not necessarily uh, as good looking a lad as I used to be, but um, this is my uh, Twitter profile here. Just to put you in the context of how what I'm going to talk through now works for you in your business, um, if you can see here, I've got um, around about 1,800 followers on Twitter. Um, as of Easter this year, that number was desperately low. I'd not really focused on Twitter at all. I had about 250 uh, followers on Twitter, very little engagement, very little uh, active follow-up that was that, that was coming through from them. And via a steady stream of, um, of, of, of changes that I've made, um, I've increased my following on a monthly basis by about 250 followers a month. Um, and I'm going to start using Infusionsoft on the back of getting those followers to make more money for, for my business. Um, I'm going to show you how I built that following, first of all, so the lead generation aspect, and then I'm going to walk you through the different scenarios of how to bring that following and that interest from that following into your Infusionsoft application so that you can engage with them further. Let me show you um, the big change that I made in Easter um, around starting to build a following. I use this application called Plugio. Um, you may have heard of it. You, you may not have heard of it. Um, what Plugio allows me to do is manage my social media profiles. There's a free account that you can um, that you can use in there, um, but I've I, I found that it was so good based on uh, the engagement that it was doing for me on automation and the the, the leads that it was building me um, that I've signed up for a, a premium account and I think something like $29 a month. And what that gives me in the premium account is the ability to post to my Twitter profile feeds, our RSS feeds from different blogs that I follow or I'm writing for um, it automates a number of different postings every day uh, from those different blogs. So if we look at one here, um, I'm a big fan of John Jansh. Uh, he, he writes duct tape marketing. Um, what I do with his posts is I take a trickle of those, apply a hashtag to them uh, because people are increasingly searching on Twitter these days for specific hashtags. Um, and then uh, the Plugio application automatically and in a, in a kind of scheduled basis based on rules that I've given it, posts his feed out into the Twitter sphere. So that's John Jansh's there. 
really rate his stuff, so I don't mind uh, sharing that. Um, then let's look at another one. Uh, Rory Keflin Jones of the BBC. He writes some great stuff. I don't mind sharing his stuff. I share his uh, post with a uh, an intro that has the hashtag tech in it. So for those people that are searching on tech, they often find my postings there and will retweet me and engage with me and, uh, and, and be interested further. Because I'm an Infusionsoft certified consultant, I share the Infusionsoft blog. And if we just look how I tag this, um, I do so with the hashtag marketing automation. So why am I telling you all this? Why am I telling you about the hashtags? Well, um, if we go back to my profile and we see on here um, some of the hashtags that I'm focused on, um, there's a logic and there's a science behind uh, why I've chosen certain hashtags to promote, uh, to generate interest on Twitter. And there's this really fantastic uh, application that I use to do that, really quite fun, called hashtagbattle.com. Um, let's pick one specific example here. What Hashtag Battle does is tell you who's searching for specific hashtags at any one time on Twitter. So if we take one particular example here from my Twitter profile, we're all about, as, as Infusionsoft certified consultants, we're all about helping small businesses to succeed. And so when I was coming to think about which hashtag I should be using for small business and, and getting small business, I thought about the hashtag small business or different variations of it. Now, I, came, I, I stumbled upon this small biz hashtag, and we'll see why I'm doing that by typing in to uh, hashtag battle small business versus small biz. I'll press the fight button, and you can see... Uh, a crazy amount more of searches per month are being done on the small biz hashtag around about 50% more so that's great that's a really that's a really logical reason for using that in my profile here and in automated tweets that I'm sending out into the twitter sphere now some people have an issue with automated tweets in that it just fills fills up the um, the, the the internet with with stuff that you're not writing yourself but what's important, instead of me thinking about content that I'm posting to my Twitter profile, what's important is that those people that are then subsequently engaging with my content, I can have conversations with them. So then let's think about how um, we translate that into the infusion software. We've seen the example. We've seen how uh, I've, I've built up a following over the last six months. You know, as, as I say, an average of about 250 new followers a month. Uh, have found me via Twitter. I want to move that conversation into an Infusionsoft setting. So how do we do that? You may or may not have discovered uh, the concept of lead source tracking. And what lead source tracking does um, is within your Infusionsoft application, there's a function called lead sources. Um, and if I just come to uh, that now, I'm going to go into my marketing piece here. Um, and I'm going to come and look at my marketing reports. It's, it's right down here, lead source ROI. So if I'm tracking where leads are coming from, I can then subsequently track what money I'm uh, making from them. Now, this is my test application, so it doesn't have a great deal of data uh, in there. Um, but where where I can see lead sources are set are in the settings uh, section of marketing. I can see in here, Infusionsoft automatically assigns um, a particular uh, lead source, if it's an SEO link or if it's a referral link, they'll put it in there. But I can define specific lead sources that I want to use. So if I type in the number 24, which I know is the lead source ID for Twitter, and then search on that, I can see here it's not costing me anything. So ex expenses that I record against it are nil. Um, but I've got Twitter set up 
as a lead source. And you can see how I'm using that. If I come back to my Twitter profile, all I'm doing on the back of a URL extension is putting forward slash question mark L for Lima, S for sugar equals 24. The 24 number is the ID of the particular lead source. I'm going to show you in a moment how to uh, configure that in a web form, uh, but I want to show you uh, how I'm taking my Twitter following to the next level by capturing that interest on my website and then subsequently building campaigns off the back of it to engage with my Twitter followers. So if I click through on the link on my Twitter profile, internet's whirring away here. This should take me to my website. So it's taking me to a specific landing page on my website. Just waiting for that to come through. You can see it on my screen, but I can see that you guys are only just about seeing that on the GoToMeeting. So here we are. This is the landing page. Very basic. Uh, Twitter for small business. So I'm really wanting to capture uh, small business owners' interest who are using uh, Twitter. Hey there, thanks for finding us via Twitter. Uh, it's great, but isn't it? Um, it don't, don't you wonder how you're going to get further leads? Um, I've explained here that I use Infusionsoft to take Twitter discussions into further engagement uh, via whatever means that might be. Uh, if you're a B2B business, you might be wanting to pick up the phone or arrange meetings. If you're an e-commerce business, you might be wanting to do it in different ways via uh, white papers or whatever. Um, and what I've described here is I'm, I'm, not, just a, I'm, I'm not just about uh, people who are already Infusionsoft users. Um, I want people who are interested in generating uh, leads for their business via Twitter. So what I'm going to do here um is i'm going to fill in my details um in fact let me just uh delete the test person from my application um it's this one right here just so we don't duplicate anything okay right so if i type in here my first name my email address my Twitter username that I'm asking them for. And I want them to tell me how they found us on Twitter. Now, this is important in Infusionsoft. If you've been using Infusionsoft for a while or if you're a new user just having come through uh, Infusionsoft user training, you'll know that one of the key things is being able to tag people and find out what their interests are so you can do follow-up marketing with them. So I've just got a simple question here. Please tell us how you found us on Twitter. Did they search for a particular hashtag? Did they uh, find me via a retweet that I'm getting increasing numbers of because I've got increasing followers? Or did they actually search my profile? So what I'm going to say here, I'm interested in marketing automation. So please register me for the Twitter series. That then goes through to a thank you page. On my thank you page, I've got a, uh, a different sign-up form. So if they just want the insights and how-tos on marketing technology, they can do that. I've configured my WordPress to do that. Um, and, and there we go. So that's somebody who's connected with me on Twitter. They've taken that Twitter connection. They've taken founding me on Twitter into the Infusionsoft world. Just want to check that that person is in there. So if I search for my name, Gareth Everson, um, you can see a number of different test uh, people in there. I'm going to go into my uh, person setting there, and I'm going to see if I go to the marketing tab where I've set this up. Um, this is a under my Twitter leads section. I've searched for marketing automation. That's that's where they've that's where they've come in and found me, and they've put in their handle. So I can engage with that person. Say it was Fred Blogs or somebody like that. The first step that I might want to do is uh, set up in a campaign um, an action to, for me to go and follow that person uh, or engage with that person, for th whether it might be via Twitter, whether it be via Infusionsoft or whatever else. But certainly the first thing that I'd want to do is to make sure 
that I was uh, following that person on Twitter. So I've started to create a campaign on this. Uh, I've gone here into the campaign builder. Um, here's my campaign here. This is, this is how we might um, take this on a level or two. So my lead source, my traffic source here is Twitter. I want somebody to sign up for my newsletter and I'm going to show you how to do the lead source tracking aspect uh, as we do this. But here's my basic uh, form that I've set up. You'll recognize it uh, in terms of the questions from the uh, form that was on here. What was it? Twitter, Twitter for small business. As that's whirring away, I'll show you that in a moment. All I'm asking for is their first name and their email, their username, and this little, um, I, I've configured a custom field to ask them how they found us on Twitter. There's what's called a non-visible HTML element in here, and uh, ignore the complexity of the way that that's described. And in here, I'm no coder myself, um, but I've just taken the code that I got from one of the Jordan Hatch um, Mastermind series calls, and I've copied and pasted that in here. Now, after this call, I'll certainly be sharing with you via the um, Get More From My Infusionsoft application. I'll share with you the code for this so that you can do this yourself. And we're recording this session so that you can walk through the steps uh, that I've done here. Uh, to create that yourself. So what 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 about if I want to um, if I want to add some further um, data on here that I might want to collect? So it might be um, tell us what you most uh, look for when you're using Twitter. Tell us this, that, or the other. Um, what we might want to do is add different fields. And the way that I created uh, this particular field here is I used uh, an other field box and here I can see all my custom fields and, and existing fields um, that are in there or I can create my own here so that's how I set up this particular box it's a drop down uh, the one that I created um, so I, I might use I use Twitter for uh, for fun I use Twitter for social engagement. I use Twitter to win uh, new business, et cetera, et cetera. And that's, those are the options that I'll put there in the drop down. So the drop down in that circumstance was how do you use Twitter? Might ask that question as well. Okay, let's save that field in there just so you can see that it's, um, that it's in the form. I'm not requiring people to... Uh, fill in this particular box. But there, you can see that if I were to ask another question, that's where it would be there. Let's keep that in there. I just want to, uh, I'll, I'll show you how I, how I then set that up on my website in a moment. So if you come through here into the thank you page, my thank you page, I don't, I don't often use the uh, Infusionsoft ones uh, as my thank you page. I always like to keep them on my website if I can. So the thank you page that I've set up is just another, uh, just another page within my WordPress instance. I've just said thank you for connecting on Twitter. As I said before, I've got a, another form that people can fill in if they're interested in the marketing uh, series. Um, just so I can get further engagement and find out more about people that are coming to my site. Okay. By way of settings, um, I, I always have the auto-populate the form with a contact's information. If I'm sending somebody to that form, it allows... Um, what, what this does is if you're sending an email from your Infusionsoft, sending it out to your contact list and, and wanting to drive them to one of your pages, what this will do is it will take data from your from their Infusionsoft contact page 
And if that data is required on the form that you're asking them to fill in, it fills that in for them. Duplicate checking, I just use the default. So check whether they're already on your system by uh, cross-referencing the person's email address. And I always like the, this, this, this option here to have a, a notification email. I always like to receive these. But instead of just having a, notifi a notification, a form was filled out, I always try and change that email subject so that when I'm receiving emails about somebody signing up, it tells me something about it. So in this, in, in this instance, I've just changed that email subject to be the Twitter interest web form was filled out. Okay. In terms of where um, this code then uh, gets used, I always use on uh, my sites and with my clients' WordPress sites, I always use the HTML co code uh, unstyled. And what this does is it allows your WordPress site um, or whatever site you have to apply the styling that that site is using to your Infusionsoft form. So you can see in here what this, what this code produces. It includes all the code that I had in my web form. It also includes that JavaScript snippet that um, I got from Jordan Hatcher's Mastermind series uh, to track where that lead source has come from. So I'm going to take this code. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go into my um, website's WordPress dashboard. And the way my uh, WordPress works, if I have forms on the right-hand side or left-hand side of the page that I want to use, the way I do it is via this uh, widget function. So I apply a text widget. And there we go. It's just loading up there. I apply a text widget and just drag it over here into my widget section. I won't do that again because I've already got um, a uh, one set up here. This is this is one that I created earlier. This is my uh, form area uh, widget for the better Twitter engagement form. And the code that we had in Infusionsoft is this bit of code here that goes from the form tag at the top all the way down to the form tag at the bottom. Let me just show you where I got that from. That's just this here, the form tag at the bottom, all the way up to the top, the form tag there, that's my HTML code. And I'm just pasting that in there. The rest of this HTML code is just uh, code that I ripped from, uh, uh, I think it was an optimized press installation that I was using. And what that does, if I uh, come in here and to see the form, what this does is use this nice big button, garish button, should I say. It also has this little uh, lock and information around it saying that we're never going to spam you, we're never going to sell your data to third parties, anything of, of that nature. Um, information at the top of the form to ask people to fill it in and what they're going to get, being really clear so uh, to set the right expectations around what they will, what they won't receive uh, by signing up to our service. So that um, is how I create the form. If you're a WordPress user, just to give you a little uh, further insight, I use a plugin called Dynamic Widgets. And what Dynamic Widgets allows you to do, if I just click on there, Dynamic Widgets allows me to only use widgets or to, or to specify which widgets uh, from my WordPress are used on different uh, scenarios on my site. So in this particular site, um, or this particular form, the Twitter engagement form, the option here on Dynamic Widgets is to show widget default on static pages. No, I don't want that to show on all the pages. Um, what I want it to show on are the Twitter for small business page because it's specific to a landing page. Therefore, that form uh, is going to be used in this particular setting.
I'll send you the details of this, or I'll put the details of this on the get more from your IS app page that covers this particular webinar. Uh, it's a great little uh, great little plug in that to be able to determine what people see on different pages of your site. Okay, back into Infusionsoft. If you can see that there, let me just expand the page a little bit so you can see a bit more. I'm going to go back to the campaign. Up here, you can see because I made that change to uh, the form because I added another field, Infusionsoft uh, is telling me that I've got unpublished changes. And I can see in here, it's slightly grayed out where those unpublished changes are. Um, so I'm going to uh, publish that right now. So what am I going to do with it? Um, I've captured somebody's uh, interest via Twitter. Uh, somebody is, is now an active lead that's come from Twitter. I know, I know the lead source is Twitter because I've set that up uh, in my application. This is where we can go to town. So within the campaign builder, within this particular campaign, um, I've got a sequence set up and the first sequence uh, action is that I'm going to apply a tag. And my tag that I want to apply is that they filled in a web form. That's my, uh, that's my, that's my category. The web form is Twitter. So we're going to set that up in here. And I'm going to save that. Okay. Then what am I going to do? Well, I'll probably send them an email. So we need to send them an email now. And this email, we just drag it across there. What are we going to put? This is going to be a welcome email. Infusionsoft whirs away here. I'm going to use one of my templates that I've already set up. Here we go. This is just what I describe as a plain format HTML email. So it's got my HTML signature in there. I'm going to say something like, thanks for connecting via Twitter. And in the body here, I'm just going to put some simple message along the lines of, um, so thanks for connecting. I hope I can help you generate more leads and interest in your business via Twitter. I'm not the fastest typer in the world, but we'll leave that for now. So this is just a, a simple uh, welcome email address to see more go to and then whatever my uh, website page is where they're going to see some of my content. Or I might attach a, um, uh, a, a an ebook to this. I might uh, send them to a video series. Um, it's entirely up to you. In the settings of your business, have a think about how you engage with people on Twitter um, within the context of your business. Let's go back, uh, set that to ready. Um, I'd normally obviously send a, te uh, a test, but in this scenario, I'm, um, I'm not going to do that. So I've got an email there. That's my welcome email. I always try and put a description on, on my emails just so I'm not looking at uh, untitled email or um, un unclear information. The next thing that I'm going to do um, so that has automatically gone out to that person. Oops, no, I don't want the tag. I want to I want to create a task for myself. So this is an, an automated setup. This is this is how Infusionsoft's uh, campaign builder can really help with some of your business workflow. The task that I'm going to create here is an activity. Uh, for me to let's just set it to other. So follow the 
follow. No, we'll use a merge field, make it even uh, even neater. Follow space last name on on Twitter. Hey, um, what should we say? So contact fields additional. Oops, no contact fields custom. Twitter handle. There we go. So Twitter handle just signed up to your email series. Why don't you follow them back? Okay, you might change that. Um, what I might also put in there is what they the, the custom field that I asked them about how they'd found me was contact Twitter search. This was their interest area. So straight away, as soon as I set this to published, um, I'm going to uh, be assigned a task by, via Infusionsoft to follow back this person on Twitter or to engage with them on Twitter or to, uh, if, if you know who they are and they've got a website, pick up the phone and, 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 and speak to them in, in, the, in, the, in the real world. Let's go crazy. Um, I'm going to set that to a specific time. It's a relatively non-essential uh, task. Notify the owner, pop-up reminder, 10 minutes before. Set that to ready, and we're good to go. So somebody that has found you on Twitter, probably via an automated tweet that you've sent out or something that they've, they've found you on, is actually now in your Infusionsoft application. They really want to engage with you. Um, you're sending them an ebook series or a video series based on something that's relevant to your business, to the settings of, of what you do, um, and they're engaging with you. So in my particular instance, I, I gave you a business setting uh, around how I'd use it. People find me because they're interested in Infusionsoft. People find me because they're interested in marketing automation. People find me because they're interested in turning online leads into uh, real world business. So that was why I, I set up this uh, Get More From Twitter series, this, this lead gen series. Um, and that's, that's, that's what you're seeing here online today. Okay, we go back to the campaign. I've got unpublished changes because that's my uh, task that I wanted to create. I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. And we're done. And that in, how long have we been on the line? Half an hour? That is a Twitter campaign uh, moved into Infusionsoft um, really swiftly, really efficiently, uh, and it looks good. So I hope you, um, I hope you like the potential of that. Um, I just want to develop this scenario and use, use your imaginations here as to, as to how you might uh, make that Make, make more of this uh, in your own particular business. Um, you might want to have a follow-up series, a broadcast series, a, um, a, a campaign that goes off the back of this um, that you're sending out to the particular leads that you've developed from, from Twitter. You don't know if, uh, how, the, how they're receiving uh, emails themselves how they're uh, how, how they're likely to receive what they're getting. All you know is that they're a Twitter user. They've shown interest in your business because of a particular uh, hashtag that they found you on, or a profile search, or whatever else. Um, I want to give you a tip around um, the particular uh, emails that you're sending out. One of the um, one of the little gotchas uh, in Infusionsoft is uh, this whole sending out plain text emails versus HTML emails. And this, this thing always, always, always is the one forgotten thing that people never remember to do after they've created an email uh, uh, campaign or a, a particular broadcast that's going out. This whole plain text option is the thing that winds more people up that I talk to than anything else. 
I want to just give you a little tip about how you can uh, generate the plain text from the HTML um, without really doing all that much work. So if we go back into the email, uh, da, 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 da. I want to see it in a HTML format. So I'm going to click on this little button here. And for a moment, I'm going to look at the HTML code. Scary for anybody that's not a coder, but I'm going to select all of that text and copy it. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to come here uh, on line to type into uh, Google HTML to text email converter. Don't do that. And as we come up here, um, I don't know who these guys are, MailChimp, um, probably some uh, some tiny little mail provider um, that nobody would ever want to use and nobody would ever consider using because they've got Infusionsoft. But what MailChimp do, uh, they, to be fair to them, they've got some great uh, little utilities, this being one of them, the HTML to text email converter. All I've done here is pasted in all that horrible HTML uh, code that I don't understand, don't want to understand. But hey, look at this. What it's given me is a text-only email that I can just copy here, go back into my uh, email that's going out. Instead of that tiny little uh, text snippet there, I'm just going to paste in the text-only uh, email that I got from MailChimp's cool little app. And there we go. I've got a plain text email within about 30 seconds of doing it without copying any uh, any any code, uh, without copying any uh, individual bits of uh, text. I've created a plain text only uh, email. So I hope you like that. That's a little uh, a little tip about using one of the competitors' uh, services. Oops, who saw the little gotcha there that I uh, that, that I didn't do? I didn't set it to ready. It's still in a draft format. Set that into a ready format. Go back to the sequence. This is going to tell me right now, as I go back in here, why isn't it doing it? Okay, it's all grayed out. It's showing me that I've got unpublished changes. This is set to ready, that's great. Let me go back to the list, unpublished changes here. Little notification up there to say uh, that I've got unpublished changes. So I'm going to publish that, and off we go. So I've taken leads from Twitter, I've found out their interest, I've got them to sign up to one of my web forms uh, via my own site. Um, because I know what they're interested in, I can follow up uh, with them appropriately using the campaign builder. Um, because I don't know whether they're using HTML uh, email clients or text only, um, I've used a little hack uh, using the MailChimp service to convert a HTML email into text. And I'm, I think my campaign is, is, is starting to come together. Now, let's imagine a scenario where, you know, um, that person that has come through from Twitter, you've nurtured them through a particular campaign, uh, however many steps that are in that process. And you're in a scenario where instead of engaging by 140 characters on Twitter, you're picking up the phone and you're having a conversation with them. And what that person's really interested in is uh, coming to meet you in your business uh, to have some sort of strategy set session, to have a little workshop or something like that. They're at the point, they're on the phone, and they're really engaged uh, with what you're about. And you know that if you were to just ask them to just push them that little bit more, you might be able to get them um, to give you some money to meet, to uh, do a particular service, to do whatever else. Now, how might you do that? Um, 
you might uh, put the put a proposal together. You might uh, send them that detailed proposal. You might have a discussion about it, three or four iterations of a discussion. Um, or you might just uh, off the bat just say, look, well, let's sit down. Let's, let's, let's make something happen. Um, why, don't, why don't you engage me for a couple of hours? Um, and, and to do that, all I need uh, is, is for you to, to just fund a couple of hours of my time and we can sit down and we can work out how I can help you and your business. It's not a prospect meeting because you've already done the intros uh, via the phone. You've 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 moved them from being just a Twitter to an email to a phone contact to a to somebody that's interested in coming to meet you and find out about your business. Um, they're at the point where they'd probably be ready to pay you um, whatever it is for your basic service, a couple of hundred pounds, uh, fifty pounds, or whatever. But you want them to push the button there and then because they're engaged, because they're interested. Now, the majority of people use Infusionsoft just purely for CRM or for marketing. Very few people, even if they've got the application to do the e-commerce side of things, engage uh, uh, that piece of functionality within the business. And the reason they don't do so is because even though with the great new design, it's, it, it's, it still comes across as being relatively complicated to set this thing up. It's not. It really isn't. All you need, and I'm sure you've had it if you've ever bought anything from uh, eBay, is a PayPal account that you can set up. So I, to, to find this, I came into e-commerce and e-commerce setup. I went into the payment settings, into payment options, and I've set up a PayPal account. I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to see all my PayPal details, but all I do is just click on this edit or add new section, and it, cre and, and it adds my PayPal account into my Infusionsoft application. Why is that great? Well, it's, it's effectively a merchant card uh, account that you can use within Infusionsoft. If people don't have a PayPal account and don't want to pay with their PayPal account, you've got the option to pay via credit card, um, and you can set that up within your Infusionsoft application. How are you going to use that then? How are you going to get that person that's ready to uh, commit to, to spending 100, 200, 300 pounds with you over the phone to come and meet with you, to come and have half a day with you, for you to go out to them uh, to, to, to do something? Well, here we go. There's, there's the concept of the buy now link within Infusionsoft. What you, need in, what you need to do in order to be able to trigger a buy now link is to use opportunities. And again, this is another area where Infusionsoft users typically uh, think that they have to invest tons and tons of time to get something set up uh, to, 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 to work with an Infusionsoft. Now, that's nonsense. It, it, it really is nonsense. All you need uh, to create an opportunity is one single product setup. Uh, and here I'm going to show you in my product section. Um, I've got consult hourly consultancy services. I've set up here. Oh, that, that seems a little bit low. Ninety pounds an hour. Uh, need to good job. It's my test application. I can go in and, uh, and and change that. But I've set up here a product of consultancy services hourly. Don't have any shipping associated with it. It's taxable based on uh, UK VAT. And I'll give you a, a link to the user guide to set that up. I'm not going to cover it on on this call, but it's 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 really straightforward. Country taxable, not state taxable, not city taxable because we don't have that in the UK. Um, but it's there, it's done, it's ready. I've got a product image that's that's set up for it, but you really don't need it. Um, and that's all it is. Got a, got a link here, or, uh, automatically Infusionsoft sets up a link if you set up a product. And there we go, you know, one single product, set up, ready in the application, probably take you two, three, four minutes to set up something that's as standard as this, uh, and you're good to go with a product. Now, why do you need that? Well, when you come into uh, your CRM system, I'm going to go to my test contact just to just for continuity purposes. So Gareth at everson.me was the, was the guy that engaged uh, via uh, Twitter. What I want to do is I want to come into the Opportunities tab down here. Um, I've had some conversations with him. I'd have, I'd have recorded it all uh, in the notes. And I just want to purely come in here and create an opportunity uh, around this guy. All I need to do, 
there. It's a new opportunity that's that's been assigned. Uh, I could fill in some notes if I want to. I could fill in some next action notes. Actually, all I want to do is just save that. That creates my opportunity. And here, I can see within here, so my tasks there to follow him on Twitter. Great. Hey, Gareth Everson, just signed up to your email series. That's the bit that we did earlier. All I want to do is create a buy now link for Gareth to come and meet me. And as this comes through, here's my link to go and buy. Um, actually, did I choose a product? <laughs> Have we made a schoolboy error? Not chosen a product. Opportunity added. Product subscription plans. Oops. Getting ahead of yourself, Gareth. Consultancy services. Bring him in for hourly. Free trial days, nil. Pay plan, pay plan ID. I don't need to set up a pay plan. All we go here is just go save. It's going to come in for an hourly consultancy. I'm going to see within here that that's uh, all set up. And again, this guy, this very handsome chap, Gareth at everson.me, who first found me on Twitter, who bizarrely also, like, like me, lives in Harrogate. He's actually wanting to come and see me in my office, and he's going to pay me to do so. And I can see if I click on the edit link and just paste that into my browser window, this is the link that this person will see. And here we go. And that, is, although I've styled this to have my uh, logo at the top here, I can choose the shopping cart setting. Now, this is just really a default setting. So I've got this information in here. I'm going to send them this link. They're going to fill this in. And then they're going to go through into PayPal uh, to pay me for whatever services, for a bit more advice on using Twitter, for a bit of advice on, on using Infusionsoft, for... Uh, you know, if 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 I'm a florist, I might uh, I might give them uh, I might give them, you know, a hundred pound voucher to um, uh, for for their wedding that's coming up. You know, think think of the scenario for your business. Really straightforward to uh, to use. Very easy to set up. If you if you if you're concerned about any of the settings around the shopping cart, um, I'll leave my details on the get more from your IS app. Uh, page around this particular webinar you can just ping me an email um, it's conscious of the time that we're coming up to the hour but if anybody's got any immediate questions around any of the topics that we've covered today uh, why don't you drop them into the uh, chat window the go to webinar chat window uh, and i'll try and answer them um, right now just leave that a couple of minutes a couple of seconds for people to have a think about if there's anything that they want any answers to. No, nope, not seeing anything there. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, well, I hope you found uh, value out of today's session. I'll be posting the uh, recording uh, chunked up into the different sections onto the get more from your IS app website. We'll follow up with you on the back of this webinar. If you've got any feedback that you want to give us, um, either feedback directly to uh, David Holland or to myself, I'll include my contact details on there, but it's just simply gareth.everson at it4smallbusinesses.co.uk. Give you that again. It's gareth.everson. E V E R S O N at IT for small businesses.co.uk. And you can drop me an email with any feedback or any questions uh, based on the content of today uh, or anything else to do with that. As I said at the top of the uh, top of the hour for the webinar, this is a, uh, a a new idea, a new service. We want to engage Infusionsoft users in the UK at times that uh, <laughs> where they don't have to. Uh, be on the line until late into the evening to connect up with Phoenix. Um, we want to get your feedback around around what you want to do with your own uh, applications and how you can take your Infusionsoft usage to the next level. 
So thanks very much for your time today. Um, really appreciate your attention and your feedback. Um, I'll look forward to the next time. The next session is going to be uh, if I come here into get more from your IS. Actually, no, I had the page open on the. There we go. Get more from your isapp.com. The next webinar is going to be hosted by the one and only David Holland on Friday. No, not Friday, the 2nd of November. We need to update that. Uh, but the next session is going to be uh, next week at the same time. So thanks very much for your attention. Uh, we look forward to speaking to you again. Have a great Friday, guys. Yeah, thanks. Bye.